snap this just to Bella. And I'm going to bring this in. And then just do it a little bit. All right. And then hue saturation. And let's bring. All right. Okay, I like that. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to throw a mask on her because I realize I haven't um, I haven't fixed the um, holes right in here. Uh, so I'm going to want to bring some more light into her eyes, but for right now. I'm at 100 and 100. What's my... Uh, let's take this down to right about there. Uh, I don't like that. Okay. So I'm just... Pulling back, I'm painting black on the mask. Hey, Dan, do I hear you? No, oh, maybe not. Oh, hi. Cassie is being a good kitty and staying in her bed. Uh, so she's not distracting me. Uh, let's see. I'm actually gonna just uh, uh, there we go. Let that be right now. Deselect. Yes. Select. Okay. Ah. Uh. Select modify, contract by one. Select modify, smooth by one. It's not perfect, but it'll get it's getting me closer to where I want to be. If I smooth. in here. So since I'm not going to make this look like a painting, I have to be a little bit more, you know, like some with my, my technique where I do the painting, I can hide some things, but I can't hide them here. And honestly, you know, it, it needs to look good, but unless it's going to be a billboard or unless it's going to be really huge, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. 
and I think a lot of people get too hung up. I mean, yes, pay attention. I don't even know what switches. It is X that switches. Okay, yeah. Uh, switch colors back and forth by hitting X to take away or bring back. All right, looking there, that's all solid. Um, huh. I think this should come out. I'm just not sure what that is anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, what is the if? Oh, sorry, pirate. <laughs> sorry. Uh, what current effect are you trying to achieve by modifying the helmet? I'm trying to achieve right now. I have um. Right now I have areas that should be cut out. So these are all, this is the gray wall that I shot around and I need to get it out because you should be able to see the, uh, the arena through her, her helmet. So that is what I'm trying to do there. Uh, And check and see. I don't think there's anything that needs to go away on the other side. I do need to come in here and break up some of that hair, but I've got one, two, three more chunks here that need to, oh, four technically. Um, but these are harder because there's hair involved. So what I have to do is I either have to choose to erase or not erase the hair. And there are, you know, issues to both. I'm going to pull out most of this hair. How soft am I? I'm 77. Okay. You can see, you know, lines, d when you get in close, lines around objects are not as um, perfect as they appear. So I'm going to keep the hair at the bottom, but I'm not going to keep the hair higher up. Which could lessen the effect of it being a uh, a uh, you know like realistic thing because you, you know, I don't have that hair but at the same time it's like getting it a good realistic um, cut on it is going to be hard okay so that looks pretty damn good I'm happy with that um, and then coming in here And getting that right there. A little tiny bit right here. And then same here, pull it down. I'm going to bring all that down. So even though it doesn't quite go, that's going to be my edge right there. Coming up. Here we go. I'm pulling a little off of that edge. Oops. Let's do it slightly. Oops. Here we go. And 
Pulling back and seeing. Okay, so now I'm just going to come in and do a softer brush and a more opaque brush and a smaller brush. So I am now going to have to do a lot more strokes to get the effect I want, but the effect I want is just to bring in a little uh, that's a little too much. Oops. Let's bring it up to about there. And I in, yep. So just Pulling out some of that color to make it look like it's a web of hair. So any like really hot spots of light color is what I'm pulling out. So that looks better. Actually, you know what? I'm just realizing that I because I pulled it down to here, I probably should pull that out entirely. Uh, I'm going to feather it over here. Hot spot is here. Starts to get the look that I want. Coming back here, I'm going to pull this down more because I made a decision down here. I have to honor that decision the whole way. Or else it makes no sense. So, there we go. Looking cool, getting to where I want it to be. Um, I am actually going to go in here. I want that background to be even darker. Oops, wrong way. So that's good. Um, I'm going to pull it off the lights because it doesn't make sense for the lights to get that dark. Hi, Cassie. You have such beautiful singing voice you have there. Um, so I'm going to bring this back up a little bit and bring this brush up. Uh, probably a little bit bigger than the lights because lights, oh, jeez. Don't be as sloppy as that. Uh, but the lights are going to glow. Uh, uh, yeah, I was, do we, do we have a full size mouse, like not a mini mouse? Well, um, I don't have one that will work with Mac, but I do have one that will work PC. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Um, your noise floor is very high. Okay. Whenever you get frustrated and mumble. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's tricky. I just boosted you on Twitter. Okay. So you might want to reset, say who you are, what you're doing. Okay. Um, so, hello. If you're new, I am, my name is Katrin Auk. I am, hello, Cassie. I am, uh, today I'm creating a sports um, inspired. Um, uh, composite. Composite. Thank you. Portrait. Port. Yeah. This is a. Um, this is supposed to look nice and gritty, and uh, this is an awesome thirteen-year-old uh, hockey player who will be most likely in the Olympics. Uh, so, I am doing. She came and she posed for me, and I'm doing a uh, 